मुझसे सुंदर सपनों से प्यारा है अपना घर जहाँ हो प्यार का बसेरा और रिश्तों की खुशबू वही आपका अपना घर संसार ज्वाइन मी ऑन घर संसार मंडे टू फ्राइडे नाइन एम टू ट्वेल्व पी एम ओनली ऑन रेडियो फीजी टू Nisambulo binaka oya wone kama na langi oni na ndorumo ya ume na ziwa kina ruwe na bisinga me na moni tikina boga rombo kana radio fiji wana ndome biti bonga ni bianyano na maka talenga na bengo na sasi biani na tin na kaloko na bimbongi ni buke lulu kena bima mani walu na bimbongi ni boka ruwe me na mbuzi ni walu ninge na maka Tonight, caregiver denies keeping disabled women in inhumane conditions. Rehabilitated Lamy dump handed over to Environment Ministry, ready for development. And LTA takes new approach to reducing smoke emissions. Good evening, I'm Amrita Priyadarshni and you're with FBC News. The man caring for a 30-year-old disabled woman in Nosori has denied mistreating her. FPC News Today spoke to Mani Ram, who's been looking after Rosaline Sangeeta Ram for years. He says he's done right by her. Apisolome Dakar visited the home in Korodiri and found notable changes in living conditions. 66-year-old Mani Ram has defended himself against allegations that he was ill-treating his stepdaughter and used to tie her up. Dorin Singh is the advisory counsellor for the area and took it upon herself to find out what was going on. She took pictures of the house in a messy state, unfit for occupation. Now she says things are looking better. From last year till now, I have seen uh, very much good changes has been there. The house inside looks much clean and better. The garbages have been removed from inside the house. I've seen Rosalind wearing some nice clothes. Um, she's been wearing clothes at the bottom as well. Ram doesn't have a job and relies on social welfare assistance. Singh believes Mani Ram has realized his weaknesses and is working on them. We should give a second chance to the father since he compromised and uh, he said that uh, the allegations made to him is uh, not uh, appropriate. It was a wrong allegation, but that allegation was based on the witnesses that we were given when after when we were investigating. This, ev all the evidence were given by the neighbors. Singh, who leads a volunteer group, will keep checking up on Rosalind condition and see to it that her needs are taken care of. Apisola FBC News. The old Lamy rubbish dump site is ready for development. The rehabilitated site was handed over to the Fiji government by the European Union last week. Sharin Lata reports on the future prospects of what used to be an eyesore for the capital city. It's hard to imagine but this was once Fiji's largest rubbish dump. Thousands of tons of waste, creating a foul smell, damaging the environment. Now it's safe enough to become a park. There is an interested party that uh, wants to convert the site into a, a park and then uh, in building uh, cultural activity and uh, leisure and even a, a sporting arena. So these are the ideas that have been circulated or developed by this interested party. The $4 million rehabilitation project was funded by the European Union. The dump has now become a lesson in environmental protection. The positive side about this new site is uh, it's being used as uh, an education and awareness site, not only for Fijians, but it's being used in the regions, uh, other Pacific Island countries coming into Fiji to learn on how this process of rehabilitation took place. David Anivalu says right now, the site can't support any buildings or large structures because the digging into the site could harm underground foundations. 
The site was closed in 2005 due to environmental risks for the residents of Lami and Suva area, including emission of gas, discharge of harmful substances and the risks of fire at the site. Now, eight years later, these fears are no more. Sharin Lata, FBC News. Phase 3 of the electronic voter registration has seen 13,112 Fijians registered to vote. This means 518,148 people have now been registered. A statement from government this afternoon says 1,592 lost voter identification cards have been replaced and 1,000 more Fijians have made corrections to their personal registration details. Permanent Secretary of Justice Mohammed Sanim says they are pleased with the way the electronic voter registration is going and has encouraged all Fijians to register with only two weeks remaining. Registration teams are stationed in locations around the country on Mondays through Saturdays and mobile registration teams will be going door-to-door -door on Sundays. The Land Transport Authority has come up with a new approach to tackle smoke emissions on our roads. As Mika Longo reports, the authority feels that enforcing the law isn't enough anymore. It seems the LTA has stretched the arms of the law against smoke emissions to its limits. That is not enough. Uh, you know, this is a big thing. Uh, it, it, it's serious. The authority feels the public's perception is that the LTA merely wants to make money when it issues fines for infringing smoke emission standards. What it wants to do now is tell people the facts. These are the three negatives in an emission. Okay, the effect on human life because of the poisonous gas uh, that uh, is part of uh, this uh, smoke. And number two, uh, the, the, the negative impact uh, on the uh, environment because uh, these are poisonous gases too that damages the environment. And number three, because of uh, this smoke, uh, you know, uh, this signifies unburned fuel and it's a waste uh, on, on our energy. Juna Deva says reducing the amount of smoke can be achieved if drivers and owners look after their vehicles. They should uh, do the servicing on time and the fuel they fill eh? should be good quality. Eh? The service is maybe due. The service due. They never service the vehicle which was the the LTA wants people to take ownership of efforts to reduce emissions on our roads. It will surely start uh, from home, from a vehicle owner, who will, uh, you know, we, we will not want to see uh, any emission coming out of the exhaust, uh, because uh, they do understand that every smoke coming out is unburned fuel, and unburned fuel is unused money. So, yeah, for a uh, 10 liters of fuel, and about one or two liters of that fuel is not used by the engine, but is thrown back. Uh, through the exhaust. The LTA plans to involve relevant authorities and concerned groups in its new approach to drive the message into homes. Mikalonga, FBC News. Coming up, Batinitano, a live show. Wow, crowds in Lotoka. Aapki shadi hone wali hai. पांच पांच बच्चे होंगे पांच 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 हाय मैं हूँ आपकी सहेली वेनु सुनते रहिए मैं छह से मैं हूँ ना नौ से बारह बजे तक बुला I'm DJ Tora. Join me every Monday to Thursday, 7 until midnight. The premium classics on Gold FM. Only the classic hits. Welcome back. While the increase in cruise liners visiting Fiji is good for our economy, related issues are standing in the way of further growth. Local authorities are being urged to ensure our search and rescue procedures are in place. In case disaster happens, when cruise ships are in our waters. Akasita Tale has more. Many consider cruise shipping a pretty safe endeavor. However, authorities should always be prepared for emergencies as the effect could be huge. Generally, the definition is any incident that occurs that is larger than the resources available. Um, 
we look at the cruise ships because, as we've all seen in the news, when something does happen on a cruise ship, it, it generally taxes any country's resources. Many cruise ships go to outer lying islands and to smaller, more remote areas. These areas also need to have the capability of conducting search and rescue operations. So the cruise ships do generally arrange search and rescue plans, emergency plans with the regional coordination centers. According to Tweed, Fiji has come a long way towards improving the capabilities to have the best search and rescue system in the region. Hopes are high that with the new computer system in place, response to those in distress will greatly improve. Once they receive a notification, they can enter that information into this computer model, which will then um, insert uh, known currents, ocean currents, as well as wind direction, um, and any storm information, if there's a storm out there, and, and will help to predict where um, a vessel in distress may drift to. Tweed adds authorities also need to understand the potential implications of a mass rescue operation whether it be a cruise ship or an aviation accident, and be ready. Aksita Tale, FBC News. Around 5,000 people packed the Churchill Park in Lotoka last night to watch the highly rated Batani Tanoa show. Fans were treated to non-stop entertainment and music in the three-hour show live for the first time outside the FBC studios. the the this is what die-hard fans of the Mbatinitanoa came for, to see and hear their favorite hosts live. There wasn't a doubt that these residents of the Burning West got more than their money's worth. Mbatinitanoa has quickly become a hit since it began, a favorite for all age groups. Word on the much talked about FBC TV show is spreading like wildfire and people now dare not miss an episode which airs every Thursday. By veteran musician Charlie Mariao, the event last night left everyone enthralled. <laughs> the Fiji Broadcasting Corporation plans to hold similar shows in the future. Mikolonga, FBC News. The finals of Miss Teen Australia is currently underway at the Pearl Resort in Pacific Harbour outside Suva. A winner will be crowned at 7 p.m. Both contestants are gunning for the main prize. Local fashion designer Esea Conrote, who designed the girls' outfits for Friday's fashion show, told FPC his designs depict freedom, flamboyance, boldness and inquisitiveness. Our young children of today are Fiji, not not today are Fiji. We look upon this show and then encourage them and foray into other fashion designing, looking behind the scenes because there's a lot of things that happen behind the scenes, into hairdressing, into setting up. So in the whole complex of fashion, uh, there's scripts for anything. Fiji Broadcasting Corporation is a media partner in Miss Teen Australia. In sports, red cards mounted Fiji fact. And flying Fijians off to face USA. Nimbula, Medango Nimilote Nai Sarotamboa. Nama kia umina rua kina ona na vya kavi muni te kina vaka rambuka. Rongo mena vya sama kina vya baka baro ta kini nreko malolo. Eno ridi ufiji wana na wongani vya niano. Ngai nama kia okina. I wake up in the morning, I prefer to go down to the gym, get a bit of physical work done. Also later on in the day, I decide to go through for meditation. 
I do a bit of reading to find out what the latest songs are. A bit of research. And for me, it's all about the listeners. Hey, what's up? I'm Rio, and this is the Traffic Jam every weekday from 3 o'clock to 7, only on Today FM. Today is hit music. What's up? Leading FPC Sports tonight, Bar and Suva are the first two teams to qualify for the Vodafone Fiji Fact semi-finals. Both have six points in Group A, while Nandranga and Lambasa say goodbye to any title hopes after finishing with no points after two games. Suva defeated Nandranga 1-0. Bar needed some magic from Sunny Issa to beat a 10-man Lambasa team. Here are the highlights from that game. Quickly coming into Ronil. Ronil looks for the through pass, finding Malakai Tiwa Tiwa on to Sunny Issa. Issa turns and drives, and Sunny Issa in the 43rd minute of play has brought joy to the bar fans here that have been sitting patiently. Issa and Ronimbaka. Ronimbaka across on to Edwin Scheim. Scheim out on towards the far touch on the broadcast side to Philip and Dawunu. Dawunu now looks at, squares it back in field to Edwin Scheim. Scheim turns and comes in with a shot. 1-2 with Mavilako back to Sunny Issa. And Sunny Issa drives and Rangata again taps it out of play. On to the edge of a box coming to Avines Swami. Swami to Mavilako. Mavilako drives and Sunny Issa places it over the crossbar. On the far touch line side, gives it on for Abu Zaid. Zaid and a dangerous tackle there by Vikrant. Red card it will be for Vikrant Chandra. From the, that far side, and Rangata takes the free kick along deep one. It is into the box. And almost sneaking in was Filippo Ndawunu. After a hard fought 2 0 win against Rewa this afternoon, in the Vodafone Fiji fact, Lotoka coach Ravinesh Kumar admitted that his players lacked discipline. Lotoka players Henry Uche and Chone Kalotani were sent off. Rewa's Poasam by Nivalu was also given the marching orders. Shalvin Chand reports. Lotoka had two players sent off. Much of it had to do with arguing with the referee. Lotoka coach Ravinesh Kumar says his players should not have acted in such a manner. Oh, of course, yes. Uh, <coughs> <laughs> it was a, a very under pressure game. Reva, Reva was a very good team and they have good, uh, good players. Our players uh, panic a little bit and a uh, little bit uh, more, dis uh, should be more disciplined in, uh, in defending. And uh, that is why they got cards and uh, we got two players red carded. And, and that was stupid of uh, my player there, Konchone Kalutani, who did that. So players should have a lot of patience and confidence in them. Rewa also had a player dismissed. Kumar says it's part and parcel of the game. That, that is part and parcel of the game, I would say. Any, any player would react like that, but uh, Henry should have accepted the referee's decision and uh, should have marched uh, out on the first way, on the, on the first moment, rather than allowing Rewa players to come in. Lotoka is now focusing on playing their next game. On track and we're looking forward for the same final next week. The game against Nani left, we look forward for the game next week. A win or a draw next week against Nandi will cement the Blues position in the semi-finals. Shalvin Chan, FBC Sports. Lotoka managed to beat Rewa by a goal to nil this afternoon. Nigerian striker Nelson Odijai scoring for the Blues. Lotoka have six points now, but their entry into the semi-final is still not guaranteed. Lotoka can still miss out if Rewa and Nandi win their next games and finish on a better average. Back in field to Elvin Avanesh. Avanes turns and lines up his shot, comes kindly for uh, 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 Nelson. And Nelson, uh, in the 33rd minute of play, he uh, does his somersault now. And to Sefa Verovo, and Verovo shot a quick one, neat one. Out on to uh, Robert Tasso. Tasso comes in with a shot, and Chonesorlo uh, uh, having. And one of the things I think they're going to try is to test Chonesorlo. Nelson Orojaya. Comes in, plays a deep one, finds Ali Anthony. Anthony turns and comes in with a shot. And JK hesitates, so does Henry Uche with him. And on to Elvin Avenes. Elvin curls it and on Matai Suba. Stoop low and knead it up and caught it again. Stoops, Naka curls it and Sorlo was waiting for it. Uh, it uh, got a fingertip to it. He's saying, no, I didn't. With a little chip kick, now the header hits the post again by Nawatu. On by Lomai Salato, then it deflected off a uh, 
a player as it swung on the edge of his box, comes in with a cross, a good one, and James Naka hits the crossbar, and away comes back into the field of play. Naka with too much power in his shot. And the Eswan Group B of the Vodafone Fiji Fact wide open beating Navua 2-0 this morning at Suva's ANZ Stadium. Coach Kamal Swami hopes to keep his team focused and win the all-important last pool game. Shelvin Chand again. Nandi's performance this morning was in stark contrast to yesterday, picking itself up and scoring twice against the spirited Navua side. According to coach Kamal Swami, consistency will help Nandi reach the semi-finals. Yes, I think the first game we played, uh, we came in the morning, early in the morning, and then we had some uh, uh, tightness in them, and I think uh, that uh, creeped in, and that's why they considered a goal against Nava, but uh, we had a good pep talk, and then I think they delivered today. Nandi will now have to ensure a win against neighbours Lotoka when it hosts the Fiji Fact this Friday at Prince Charles Park. We know Lotoka will be playing against Lotoka. We have already played one league game. We know their strengths and weakness. We will be hoping on that. We, will, uh, we hope we do well against them. Officials are hoping that the home game advantage helps the jet setters. Home support has always helped uh, in any team perform better. And this is the players who are the form, uh, sons of former players and they, it lifts their morale. So let's hope everything works in our favor and we do well. Nandi will have to win their next game with as many goals as possible if they are to have a chance of playing in the semi-finals. Shalvin Chan, FBC Sports. Flying Fijians left for Japan yesterday to face USA in the Pacific Nations Cup. Coach Inoke Male believes even with slim chances, Fiji can still win the PNC for the first time since its inception in 2005. Shelvin Chand has more. It's a hectic schedule. Only three nights ago, the Flying Fijians played the classic All Blacks. Now, they're journey bound to the land of the rising sun, Japan, where two matches will be played. And the aim is to win every game with bonus points. I think Canada have uh, one game left. That's against Japan. Eh? So we are hoping that uh, Canada will lose the, the game against uh, Japan and will be able to play and win both games. Last Wednesday's game has taken its toll with some niggling injuries to players. Bombo and Captain uh, Akapusinkara got a sp uh, sprain hand and um, I think Nathan Itali. Those are only the three men I think. The PNC will lay the platform for Male to pick his place for the Europe Tour. So far, only two matches have been confirmed. At the moment, I think uh, we've got only Italy and and the Barbarians. So maybe after the PNC, they'll announce uh, two more games of the Canada, after three games, remains unbeaten on 12 points, while Fiji, after two games, has six points. The Flying Fijians take on USA coming Wednesday and then face Tonga four days later. Shalvin Chan, FBC Sports. The Jet Runners Club of Nandi is hoping for a bigger turnout in their next event after only 30 runners showed up for the half marathon yesterday in Butualebu, Nandi. A mixture of local and expatriates made the run a memorable one. Three races were held, the 5-kilometer, the 10 and the 21-kilometer run. President Abhinesh Kumar says the plus for them is that they are able to attract young runners needed for development. We've got a 13-year-old running 5K and 10K and uh, a 12-year running 5K. So that is a, this is, this is a good, good feedback to, to the club, to the club and to the country. So that simply means in future we'll, we'll build these athletes, we'll, we'll develop these athletes to represent Fiji in international stages. The Jet Runners Club is now looking at organising a fund run next month. Another fine day across Fiji with all centres recording sunny conditions. This was also reflected in the temperatures, Lombasa hitting a high of 30. No readings for Ba and Lotoka though. Apart from a shower or two in Suva and some cloudy conditions in Sabu Sabu, tomorrow is shaping up for more good weather. And the further outlook is for brief showers over the eastern parts and interior of the larger islands, elsewhere fine, cool at night. 
Our leading story is tonight, a stepfather caring for 30-year-old disabled woman denies keeping her in inhumane conditions. Refurbished Lamy dump handed over to Environment Ministry, ready for development. And LTA takes a new approach to reducing smoke emissions from vehicles. Remember, our poll question closes tonight. Should we have a national ID card? As always, visit www.fpc.com.fj to answer. Remember to send us newsworthy pictures and videos on email, citizenseyes at fbc.com.fj. That's FBC News tonight. Join the team again tomorrow. I'll be back again next weekend. See you then. Bula! Oya wa sala bela wa. Do ba te ke yau mena diwa kina tini karo na kaloko na sinu lebo ni moni tiki na vaga romboka. Kako ni valata na no musu ni sarisari na kai samuriyan dolo loma leone wani ni nau. Ongori ke de mena diwa kina tini karo na kaloko na sinu lebo ni moni tiki na vaga romboka. Ena bula FM number two en sere. How would you like to spend your morning? You could spend your morning like this. Or you could spend it like this. Tune in to the morning ride every weekday morning from 9 a.m. till 12 p.m. right here on Today FM, Today's Seat Music.